different mm. families come with different types of rice preparation for competition. So Jollof rice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They take it as a serious thing. They take it really serious. And you're t seeing something about the food coming from the wall of people, Gambia, Senegal, you know. But food travels from places to places and then from place to place and all that. And then some people just take the food and make it their own. And the rivalry between Nigeria and Ghana did not just start with jollof rice. It started with football. Jollof rice just amplified. It started it. with <laughs> exactly. And yeah. someone actually attributed uh, <laughs> Anthony Joshua's win yesterday to Nigerian jollof rice. But of course. So that, you know, <laughs> so that's a victory actually. <laughs> So people have said we're wasting too much time arguing about these things. Even mm. Richard Quest sort of alluded to it that why just yeah. this place it's is a basic what, meal. Why like he was put so put under this spot because people kept asking him choose one, choose one. He's like, it's just a plate of rice <laughs> with tomato sauce. <laughs> exactly. Why are we not? Why is it that big a deal? Why are we not focusing on more serious things? I mean, if we're rival, if we're competing on the economy, or mm. why is jollof rice the thing? I, I think jollof rice <laughs> is just trying to open up. It's like um, like an anchor. For many, other things. for many other things. It's, that's the part where everybody can come in through. You yeah. understand? But I just feel that when you talk about movies, we are the best. You talk mm. about music, we are on top. Football. Talk about football. Yeah. Then, no, then just strong. Then they kick rock, rock, <laughs> kick everything. Now we see the dead. Now this dollar price, so Ghanaian they hear me. We wherever they hear me. So we got no the equation at all. So we don't come on They discovered all. We discovered rice from them, right? Yeah. Uh, whichever way. So now we get it. We know they carry last. We they cook away and we cook. So how, is it? Do you think it's possible to win this? I mean, with like no, food, they, they with, know with we things have like won. football, for example, you can say okay, okay. head to head, we yeah. won more matches. You, than you. But with dollar price, how do you win? You can't win. You can't win. So this. It's going to be an endless battle. It's going to be. It's going to be for eternity because no, you can't no, no, tell. No, 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 you no, can't. No, you no, can't no, tell me. You can tell me that your mother's food tastes better than mine. I can. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but it will keep going on. But you know, to an extent, we have authorities in food. Yeah. And many people believe, even the Indians, the biryani rice is similar to Nigerian jollof rice. It comes out grainy and fluffy. All right. So a lot of people reckon with rice that comes out like the way Nigerian jollof rice is. Mm. So it's going technically, it's going towards Nigerian jollof. Oh, technically. Technically. Realistically. <laughs> so realistically, it's our own. <laughs> <laughs> we, are so young. <laughs> we have the best jollof rice. So how are we going to win? That's what I asked. No, they know we have won, but it's just well, like not an, so how do you they get can't first? accept publicly. How did but you win? Privately. How did you win? Okay, now I, I had I had an event in, in Ghana and then I stumbled or we went in, uh, into this eatery and then we ate and we were like, man, see Jollof. So I was like, ah, so Ghana, get this. They say, yeah, now we have now. So I was now speaking and we were just talking and I saw the owner of the eatery. I found out that he was in Nigeria. So he's still our food, but in Ghana. <laughs> are you getting what I'm saying? I understand. Hey, even Ghanaians are coming there. See, it's not your food. No, we are still cooking it for you. But I think those that should have contended with Nigeria on this thing is the Togolese. Yeah. Those yeah, women, no, those women not, cook fire. Why are you adding people to this? No, let's let's be serious. I'm trying to say Ghana. I'm trying to say Ghana does not even have. Okay, so Ghana is not even in the question. When Nigeria, okay, is, then we have won. Ghana is not in the question. Okay, what's Togo? Oh no, the women they are known for cooking. Like we employ most of them to do the That's floor true. work. Okay. Yeah, they have one of the best culinary schools in in Africa, in West Africa. In West Africa, and then the women, you know, the local ones, they do the core groundwork of the wow. stirring and turning wow. and all that. Wow. But the, I trust me, the Nigerian jollof rice is yeah. <laughs> so is this argument going to end? If, if we can't win, is it going to end at any point? There'll think? be something new always. It will transcend from food to football to best dress to music because they're doing well in music, but Nigeria is still number one. Mm -hmm. That's why well, we're, we're more than them. I don't understand why they know, <laughs> but you know, it, they just must find something to talk so about so that they like come. Lagos. Yeah. <laughs> In population, so I I'm sorry. Imagine, no, my Ghanaian friends. like Lagos competing with our God. It's funny, you know, you know, when they asked uh, our minister in film, I, I did it, I, I studied it, but I found out that he's from Kwara State. You know, if you had asked a Lagosian which is the best jollof rice, you get the best. Accent. But even in Nigeria, it's cooked differently in different parts, yeah, right, isn't it? Yeah, um. Less, so is that like less, a, is less, that, is that even a Nigerian jollof? The best Nigerian jollof rice is Western. Okay. Is okay. Yoruba. 
because mm. of the movement through the western coast and landed through the, uh, exactly mm. yeah, so yes, and then we're that. more yeah. party people in mm. the west so like even if you're calling the best chefs in the world there must be jollof rice mm -hmm. and then moving towards the east to the south and to the north Wow. So we can attribute the best Nigerian jollof rice to the western region of Nigeria. That's Lagos, <laughs> to be precise. Yeah, the shoppers. <laughs> Lagos. The, shop the <laughs> Owa men. <laughs> they are like... Just give you guys uh, final notes very quickly. Just round it up. Okay, final. I just want to let them know that Nigerian jollof rice, whichever be the case, north, south, west, east, in Nigeria, I say, oh, we have the best. Uh -huh. Come and ask me. We so eat we have one. one. We have one. So knockouts, like, no, you sure. can't be asking me. It's like asking to face that. Uh, what is um, uh, it about family uh, planning? <laughs> you know, you're asking the wrong person the wrong question. Oh my uh, are you telling me? That's I sad. didn't tell anything. I don't like it. Okay, really. Um, we have to give it to them. That preparation is nice as well. Mm. well it's it's a worthy. It's it's a, yeah, it's a worthy. Op it's a worthy competition. Yeah, but it's, to me. Because it will be a blow to my face if a, if a Ghanaian chef wins the, the Ghanaian Nigerian jollof battle. It's so it's a Nigerian ah. thing. Okay. Thank you very <laughs> much. That was for jollof rice. Thank you very much, Thank you very much, <laughs> Chef Bolari. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I don't know that there's one jollof rice and it's Nigerian. I don't even know why there's even a battle. It's not, it's not, there's no contest, I'm sorry. I mean, there's only one jollof rice and it's here. We'll take a break now. When we come back, we'll have a reality star in the house. Please stay with us. Oh, say it's dance now, it is my turn Just want